For South City, the Latrell factor is very strong. He was great in his comeback last week. And he links up with his brother Shaq, who comes off the bench for the first time in an NRL game tonight. But Phil Gould, Jed Cartwright, his first appearance for the season, had one game for the Panthers. He's had 10 games in South Sydney Colours and, and called in late in the season. Let's see if he can make an impact. Yeah, he's a big boy, Jed. He's got plenty of football in him too, but his career's been hampered by injuries. Injury after injury after injury. Sapped into his confidence a little bit, but he looks fresh and ready to go tonight. He's got really good ball skills, really good work ethic. They've won South Sydney, that is, 11 of their last 13 games against Newcastle and their past four at McDonald Jones Stadium. So that is a, a most imposing record. They can climb as high as fifth with a victory. So the stakes are high here in Friday night footy. As Newcastle head out, they've been improving in the last uh, little while, actually. Big win over the Titans, 38 to 12, when the wingers scored all the tries. They were nudged out in the last minute by Canberra the week before. And Bradman Best comes back. He's been out for the last four games, as you can see, but such a weapon for the Newcastle back line, Andrew. Yeah, and so much, so much power out there. And they're still working out how to use Bradman. And I think he's still working out where and how he likes to get the ball. But any early ball to Bradman, he is a menace. So let's hope tonight there's a bit of ball movement and get some early ball. So a lot of wet weather in the Hunter as well this week. But look at the ground. Just like last night, impeccable. And there's Latrell, captain of South Sydney for the first time. What an honour. He joins... Uh, quite an honour roll to lead the very famous club. So Friday night footy here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Daniel Saifiti with the first run of the game. Now to Barnett. Oh, that's high. That's vicious. That's Totola. That's a penalty. Oh, okay. this isn't good. Yep. Lachlan Ilias. I think there's friendly fire okay, here. Oh, there's a head clash with Totola. And the young halfback, Ilias, cops it right on the cheekbone. Look when he was laying down. It looked cool. like there was already blood coming off that cheekbone. I'd be surprised if he hasn't fractured the cheekbone. And I imagine that's his night gone. Can you believe his luck? Oh, look at that. Look at the egg already up on that cheekbone. That's him gone for the night, for sure. An innocent bystander to the whole thing. And he's been collected by a teammate. Oh, and you can see his leg. When he watch when he goes down, he's out. Watch his legs just buckle. Look, they're all under him. Look, he's out there. That's his night gone, the young man. Not wow. quite the same effect as on the, the junior Totola there, but he's got some some blood nonetheless. So. Uh, Darren Locke here as we head to you, a dramatic start. Yeah, not great for South. Burgess, Thomas Burgess just came on, so I'm not sure what the reshuffle will be. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on that, but conditions-wise, it's, it's a little bit chilly. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, 9 degrees, 12 degrees, feels like 3, dew point at 5. We're not there yet. There's a bit of a southwesterly breeze. Both this, the ends of this stadium are open, so it does affect. It's a, bit, a little bit behind the, the Knights, and Joey would probably know more about how the southwesterly breeze affects this ground. Good on you, Darren. Good to hear from you. The cold weather brings out the best in your performance sideline. I'd say uh, Cody Nicarima was picked at lock. He'll go to halfback. There he is there, tackling Mitch Barnett. He's a, a clue now. Over to Milford. Bit of indecision. Milford bangs it high in the air, though. Got plenty of that one. And when that westerly breeze blows in Newcastle, the western stand, it hits that and it comes around the field and swirls. So it's a night for the torpedo bombs or the floaters. You can terrorise the fullback in these westerly breezes. He goes, Kion Kaloa Matangi. South at this same juncture last season were in third position with 12 wins. So they find themselves four victories behind where they were, but 
they can string wins together when they get some momentum. They won eight of their last nine games heading towards the finals last season. And certainly Luttrell's return is the springboard that they were hoping for. Now, Nicarima. And Edric Lee. He's as, his popularity has reached Andrew John's levels in the Hunter this week. Big Edric, five tries. He's a rock star in Newcastle. He's a, he's a good character too, isn't he? We spoke with him pre-game. He's got a great personality and he loves being out there on the footy field after so much time on the sideline with injury. He's a cracking bloke. Really popular amongst his teammates. Great run there, Dominic Young. He's a young man who has improved out of sight. Well, he got three last week and he was overshadowed. Now, Randall's lost this. Play on, says our referee. And Walker finds Luttrell. Oh, look at that for a step. Big left footer. Got away from Clue. Saifidi and Barnett in there. Nikarima into acting half. And that's Davey Moali, the young teenager. He actually qualified for the under-19s origin game, but uh, didn't play in that. Here's Burgess now. Havili for Cody Walker and Jed Cartwright on the left-hand edge. He's up against Tyson Frizzell tonight. That'll be an education for a, a man in the uh, infancy of his NRL career. Oh, there's a run by Tom Burgess. He had a blinder last week. 184 metres, 36 tackles for Tom. And now charged by Moali once again. And South's on tackle five within nine of the line. Harvili to Nikarima. And out the back now, Mitchell. Square. Oh, six more. There was a Newcastle hand there. So more pressure coming on the Knights' goal line defence. Played by Tane Mill. One of the changes this week came into the team. Campbell Graham out long term with a fractured cheekbone. They're saying indefinitely, but the... The window was six to eight weeks. Havili to Burgess. Nilly. There was an invitation for him, but Kurt Mann closed it. They restart the count once again. It's mounting up here. And Mitchell, Mitchell with a pass. I suggest that's taken a deflection off Newcastle. It has. At least they'll get a breather. I don't think so. Well, they call him Thunderbolt. Thing that has come out of nowhere. You don't plan for it, and all of a sudden you've got to accommodate it. And the, the injury to Ilias in the second tackle of the game now means a complete rethink by the Rabbitohs. And I think, Andrew, just Katie Walker and Latrell Mitchell say, we need to take it from here. Yep. I think he's the main focus now, Cody. Cody Walker, that is. I thought him and Ilias have been forming a really good partnership. So it's to see who takes the lead role. It looks dangerous already, Latrell. More ball in Latrell Mitchell's hands. That'll be fun to watch tonight. Now, the way to Tane Mill. And the defence by Kirk Mann, Havili. And Moali now. He's a real bustling, strong, hard-running front rower. Metre out. Havili to Tola. Dives for the line, but they come in numbers. Randall there with Saifidi. They're under the black dot. Havili sends it to Walker, who steps back in. Oh, good tackle. Look at that for his L. Hit him hard and drove him back a few metres. Havili to Mitchell. He passed it into Jed Cartwright. Scon, I think, and it's bounced back here for the night. So there's the first examination. Passed, and they've given away a penalty to concede further advantage. And great reaction for the Knights players. Similar to last night. They all run in for a high five. Defended on three or four sets the on their own line. Okay. On the mark here. Anthony Milford enjoying a resurgence in the NRL. Three try assists, 12 tackle breaks in his five games before tonight for Newcastle. There is a way to clean up. Run for nearly 200 metres against the Titans last week and played that very quickly. Now Randall, the way to Clune to Barnett and Bradman Best. The defence coming from Paulo and Burgess, who had to get over to his right-hand side. Now, man, skipping in the middle of the ground. Now, really and Cartwright, the defenders. Four tackles exhausted for Newcastle. A pass to Milford, who sends Hoy around the back. Now, Inari Tuala. 
tackled nicely there by Isaiah Tass, who was recalled to first grade last week. Milford, a dinky kick over the top. I think he wants the post. It includes coming through, and the ball just a fraction long. He was aiming for that far post. So much space through the line, so he went over the top. With that breeze that Darren Lockyer spoke about, the ball kicked on. Seven tackle restart now for, the, for South Sydney. Early in the game, you cannot get those kicks wrong. And that was Richie Kenner, who returned to South Sydney's first grade team for the first time since 2018. It's been a real journeyman, Richie Kenner. He started in Melbourne. He's got a few different hopes. 32 metres out now as Moali plays it and Havili looks right to Nicarima, sends it around to Walker. There's Edric rushing in. Good tackle. Go. The crowd appreciate that. Now Kian Kaloa Matangi gets up to the red stripe there. Nicarima with a chip kick and Edric's underneath it and Hoy's missed it. Hoy's knocked the ball on. Knock on Newcastle. What are you on the scrum? He came from a fair way back there, Tex, and uh, he had he had some support there in terms of a, some fortification around the ball, but he couldn't handle it. Yes, Darren? Yeah, Souths get another opportunity attacking Newcastle's goal line. They've been a little bit impatient with the football, the Rabbits, so just need to compose themselves and build some pressure, get some patience about their attack. But Newcastle have been very good, but another test for them right now. Just let each other in. Right. Let's go. Come together. Heads down. Let's go. Put it in. Jaden. Ball in. Wait, wait, wait. They hold it in the scrum and Havili to Nicarima. Here's Mitchell. Oh, he went frightfully close there. Havili rushes a pass away and did a very good job. Now Mawali. They'll do well to turn the bunnies away here, Newcastle. Another bash and crash play, but it doesn't work to Tola there. Ordinary pass, scooped up by Walker, who ran into his own man. He's celebrating, but we need to have a look here. He ran straight into Tom Burgess. Yeah, but nobody was obstructed. Chaos. Have no try. Just review, but uh, yeah, possible obstruction in the lead up, mate. Well, Cody gets the ball and ducks underneath. But if you watch where Tom Burgess is, I don't think anyone is really obstructed from the Knights. On the ground, it's a clean pick up there from Cody Walker. Well, Kurt Mann stops on the play. He can't do that. You've got to play to the whistle. I don't think anyone's obstructed. He runs into Tom Burgess, just seeing if any well, Kurt, Newcastle player is obstructed. Watch Kurt Mann. He's got his legs strapped. He actually stops on the play. Chris Randall's in front of Tom Burgess, so he's not interfered with. Mitch Barnett has a clean shot. It's play on at this stage. There's no oh, obstruction. Yeah, it looked ugly, but it's OK, I reckon. Well, that's a Kurt Mann was playing for the penalty. You, you, you cannot do and that. And he grounds the ball. We have a decision. So that man, Cody Walker, Gus and Joey said it'll be Mitchell and Walker. He'll have to go to work here. And, uh, and the former captain, Cody Walker, has got the bunnies on the board at 4-0. Look at the pick up there. He, he was hitting full speed and he scooped it up on the half volley. Yeah, Harvey Norman replay. He just wanted it more. And he'd be disappointed with that one, Adam O'Brien. You've got to play to the whistle. You've got to play the play, not play to the referee. But look at that. Picks it up and then just gets down low and goes. Well, they just stopped the Knights. As soon as the ball hit the ground, they relaxed. It didn't look pure, but good enough. Conversion by the 
Great bit of play there by Walker. Great vision, great speed. And they capitalise on a, a glut of possession against Newcastle's line there. South Sydney 6, Newcastle nil. Amazing record that, uh, that South possess in Newcastle. They've won their last four at the venue. Obviously the Knights have been up and down throughout that period, but a very difficult road trip regardless of who travels up there generally. Breaking news, Danica. Yeah, there could be some good news for South Sydney fans. Lachlan Ilias could be OK and cleared to return. Word out of the sheds is that his cheekbone injury they're not too concerned about at this stage. He did go off for a uh, head injury assessment as well. That was a Category 2, uh, so that means that the doctor can clear him to return. So he has three minutes remaining on this. But at this stage, South Sydney bench is hopeful that he'll be back out. All right, well, Andrew uh, Andrew had him out in season over, so he's about to come straight back out there. Here comes his text order on the road back. Dr. John's had him in the ambulance. Dr. Hey. John's had him finished. He was out cold. He <laughs> was on the way to Royal Newcastle Hospital. <laughs> they just turned around. The brake lights on the ambulance come on, and out to the back come. Yeah, there is. I'd have to be in the casualty ward and Andrew Johns walks in with a coat on. Come on, leave it. Here you go. Here you go, Brazil now. The cart right there, along with Tass. And now Safidi. Dragging every last inch out of that run. The ball played to Randall. Milford. Gets plenty of hang time there. And Latrell, oh, look at that for a ball. It's, it didn't work very well because Jackson Paulo got monstered by Bradman Best and Edric Lee. Here comes Tane Mill now. So uh, on the subject of number nines as well, Jaden Braley's back. He's on the bench in 14 for Newcastle. Interesting to see when he comes on for his first game of the season proper. Did the Achilles in the preseason? Here's a Billy with a dash and away to Kaloa Matangi. Fights hard in every tackle as well. Oh, lovely ball. Very late. And now Paulo goes back to Nicarima and Latrell and Burgess and Latrell. Mitchell up the centre, Nicarima there, Nicarima away, Young from nowhere! Dominic Young with an unbelievable tackle! Ball out to Milne, Edric Lee makes a good tackle and Best comes in to help! Oh, Dominic Young finished like a new market handicapper! And Nicarima can't get a kick through. Well, there's a reward for desperation. And now they're on the counter-attack. And Frizzell turns them inside out. Hoy's running up the middle. Tyson missed him. He's still going, Frizzell. Ankle tap. <laughs> got the ball away. Along the ground. Play on. Hoy with it now. Tex Hoy tries to find an opening. What a counter. Oh, that was hilarious. What a bit of play. Now, Randall, he's got to get the ball out wide. Ploon sends it to Milford and now to Young. Go yourself, Dom. And he's going to do just that. Newcastle, amazing rugby league. They save a try. This man saved a try at one end and scores at the other. Where's Tyson? Is Tyson off the ground yet? Oh, that was good stuff. Dominic Young. He's a cult figure already, Dominic Young. Harvey Norman replay. Look at them playing with them here. Catch and follow. That's an Alfie Langer play there from Latrell. And then he's he's, oh. he's in. And then have a look at Dominic oh, oh. from nowhere. And then Tyson Frizzell. Go, Tyson. Know what to do. Darren Lockyer. That was unbelievable. And the crowd got right into it too. They, they were cheering because they saved a, a try. Well, Dominic Young. 
just on the sideline here. He just appeared from nowhere. And then they go to the other end of the field and, and with the halves, they saw the space. Oh. He still had plenty to do, Dominic Young. So what an outstanding two minutes or a minute 30 from that man there, Dominic Young, saves the try. Latrell Mitchell tried to run him off a little bit as he went for Ningarima, but he pushed past Mitchell. What an effort. Yeah, he's only been playing rugby league since he's been about 15, Dominic. They got him from, from the UK, an incredible athlete. What a finish. Incredible athlete. He's of Jamaican heritage. Jamaican heritage, yeah. I know he's loving living in Newcastle. And he sort of came out here with no guarantees, didn't he? He just came out to see the Australia yep. and travel and learn the game. And he watched it on TV and said, that's where I want to be. And that's where he is. And he saved one at one end. Still had a fair bit to do here. What? But he just pulled past the hey. defender there and put the ball down in the end goal. He's still learning the game. He is as raw as raw. Checks from touch. It's across the face. Oh, that's up there with the best passages of play in the season so far. Dominic Young has just has just performed an extraordinary act. That would warm the heart of an old coach, I reckon. Save one and score one within 30 seconds. Danica. So there's a fair bit of drama happening down here on the Rabbitohs bench. So Lachlan Ilias will not be returning uh, tonight. He has fouled his HIA, but uh, the time actually elapsed on the HIA. And because the South Sydney uh, Rabbitohs were so confident that he would be back, uh, they have now lost their free interchange because the 15 minutes elapsed. So not only are they now without Lachlan Ilias for the remainder of the night, they're also an interchange down. Can you just pick up that stethoscope of mine? <laughs> so Dr. Johns was right. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. You've been deregistered. Yeah, I think the medical board would be looking very closely at my antics. <laughs> well, it's all happening tonight. Hope you're well built. Here's Clemmer. Of Julian Totola make the tackle 23 metres out. Milford, oh, that slick to Arla. Young, Dominic Young again. Oh, how close was that? He almost bounced over the line. A couple of dreadlocks got over the line anyway. Well, he's hurt. Three. Was it Mitchell with the cover tackle? Yeah. It was a big effort. Lines him up. Bang, hits him hard. Oh, he twists the ankle then. To get him high, does he? Ooh. I think there's nothing wrong with the tackle, it's just the way he fell, I think. Might have got his elbow. Oh, yeah, you know, he gets him on the chin there. We've got to cover David. David, we've got to cover, mate. They won't want to lose Dominic Young to HIO, given the form he's in. Latrell. Latrell. Okay, the contact's in the head. It's on report. Hey, yeah, well, just clipped him on the chin. Wait, wait, wait. Who? Gotta, Some nice ball movement you there, Andrew, me, from the Knights. Yeah. Okay, mate, you've got to go independent, Doctor. So yeah, this will be Dominic Young. Golf, He's got to go for, for assessment. Uh, yep.
He wouldn't miss him walking down the main street of Newcastle. No. Now that is an athlete. Look at that. You should see him run, train. He's an amazing athlete. And Leo Thompson comes onto the field. I'm trying to think what the shuffle will be. Maybe Mitch Barnett may go to the centre. And Tyson Brazil. Kurt Mann. So it might be man by the looks of things. And uh, Milford for Daniel Saifiti. He's played Origin himself, and his brother is going to get a maiden New South Wales cap in the decider on Wednesday coming. Randall goes to Milford and away to Thompson. It's made a real impression, Leo Thompson, for Newcastle this year. Randall Shortside, Clune, had three tries this last week. He's dragged to the ground here by Totola. Plays it on the 10. Randall away. Milford, another short ball, Saifidi couldn't quite crash through the final line. Havili was there, Mitchell was in front of him too. Randall, they were up off the line very quickly there. Now Hoy, he's got nowhere to go. Tex is going to go back over to the other side of the ground and he'll do well to stay in in the end. He does by a couple of inches anyway. Tuala, Milford, up and across. Where's Edric? Here he comes, Edric Lee, got it back, picked up by Clemmer. David Clemmer around the ankles, the referee's having a look, but the Knights think it's A-OK. -okay. got no try. No try. We've cleared the pass, we think, uh, yeah. Not there might be a hand in between Edric Lee passing the ball and Clemmer getting it. I think it's Barnett's. It's Newcastle there. kick chaser onside. There's Leo Thompson to contest through. for the ball by both players. Edric Lee takes possession. What a catch. That goes Comes off the shoulder him. and goes backwards off Leo Thompson. It's play on at this stage. Yeah. Good hands, That's David. Try. Clemmer. Is well this Clemmer's first try for the Knights? Lee celebrating. David Clemmer. Clemmer collects the ball cleanly and grounds the ball. We have a decision. Oh, if if yes. you get him in the doubles, you just rip it up. <laughs> You're never confident about him scoring. David Clemmer. Great kick. He's a real target on that left side, Edric Lee. He came in a long, long way from his wing. Harvey Norman replay. This will show up beautiful. Great camera angle, this one. Edric gets in there and then gets it in field. And Clemmer, beautiful skill. Picks it up and have a look at the big unit. He's happy. He's doing it easy at the moment, Edric. Look. He just got... He caught that like it was practice. How about that? 75 games. He's waited for that one, David Clemmer. So, an appropriate celebration. Newcastle with a second try, and Anthony Milford's gonna, gonna do the goal kicking now from next to the post. at home, always tough to beat, particularly against the South Sydney outfit, missing Origin players and some other regular first graders because of injury. The host 10, and the visitors 6, and Edric Lee rumbles back, met by Totola and Burgess there. And Barnett always potent with his ball carrying. Juggled by Mann, who has gone to right centre. Suala out to the wing. And we'll get a word on uh, Dominic Young shortly from Dr. Mason's sideline, who is certified. 
unlike uh, present company. Clune, very deep kick. And, uh, and taken well by Paulo, who races back, but it's good, good kick chase pressure, isn't it? Clever down there, Barnett and Leo Thompson. And Tane Mill now, wrapped up by Randall. And a scurry from Richie Kenner. Goes over the halfway. Now Tom Burgess. And there's a damaging run. Races up to the 30. The Billy for Nicarima, then Walker, then Mitchell. Quick hands just behind Kenner marginally. So he had to prop to catch the ball. And he's put down here. Now just over the 30 metre line, Walker. And Cody Nicarima goes airborne. Now Hoy missed the first one. That one was a more straightforward proposition. And Cartwright makes the tackle with Keon Kaloa Matangi. Milford now for Inari Tuala, who's played every minute of every game for Newcastle this season. When might we see Jaden Braley, what do you think, Andrew? I think after about half an hour. I think he'll come on then. Held in such high regard by the Knights that he was a joint first grade captain last year and club captain this year. So it'll be a big thrill for them to have him back. Milford with another deft pass and Frizzell this time. Good kick by Milford. That was a 40 20, too. How have you found Milford, Andrew? Incredible. Great skill. He's got incredible speed. When he got down when he got down to Newcastle about two months ago. He needed to drop some weight. He's dropped about six or seven kilos. But his agility and his footwork. He really knows the game. He really understands the game. I thought he was just a data and you know a support player, but he really understands well. This is nice. Tash now. Good ball movement from South this time. And a Walker dumps it for Burgess. Charges into Thompson and Saifidi. And Kurt Mann's picked up an injury in that tackle. Well, he's just hobbling back into position, but they're going to head towards him. Walker over the top of Mann, who can't turn. Oh, Hoy, well done. Yeah, that wasn't easy, the way he went down on that ball. It was wobbling along. I've got to say, Andrew, the Newcastle defence, they look as though they've done their homework here tonight, haven't they? Yep. Yeah, that's the side of uh, Adam O'Brien. He's really defence orientated. A lot of work watching the opposition's attack. Milford, 20-40 attempt. Milford, oh, the bounce didn't quite work for him. It bounced back in for now. Look at Bradman Bessray. Oh, he didn't know he was coming there, Jackson Paulo. A yeah, great kick, but great chase by Bradman Best. Inspired play by Newcastle. That ball was all but heading to the sideline. It just bounced infield. It went right, not left. Yes, Danica? Yes, yeah, speaking about Jaden Braley just before, we've been watching him here on the sidelines, so you can tell just how eager he is to get onto the field. He's barely sat down all game. He's been jumping up and down and pacing the sidelines. He's very keen to get back out there. Oh, his brother had a spectacular game for Cronulla last night. There's a run. Tenacious stuff there by Totola, and Kaloa Matangi slips over as he meets Barnett. South Sydney look like they're in each other's way a little bit tonight. It's just not... I know they lost their half-back in the second tackle of the game, but there's nothing really clinical about them. Some misdirected passes. Decoy runners are overrunning the mark. Passes going behind. Passes on the ground. It's just got to settle down because Newcastle have got their measure right at the moment. Danica, you are busy. Very busy. Uh, we've just heard from the Knights uh, officials and they're confident that Dom Young uh, should be back out here. They're confident that he will pass his head injury assessment. He still has a few minutes remaining on it, though. Thank you. Clemmer. Get up, get up. Oh, look at that for a run. Picks up plenty of metres. He thought it was high. The crowd 
Well, they're always on the referees back in Newcastle. No exception there. Clue now. Oh, Edric can make a catch at it. He gets a pass away. <laughs> Bradman best will score. Where were the South Sydney players? There was no South player within Kui. Edric. They just stood and watched. You've got someone six foot eight running down and the ball's in the air. You've got to know where Edric is. But even after he catches it, they just left him unattended. He was obviously trying to get a ball away. It was the last tackle. But they kind of turned their back on him and he ended up with a, a bit of a flick out the back to Bradman Best. Harvey Norman replay. Up it goes. Edric's onside. He makes the catch. He's got to find a pass. It's last play. He's got to find a pass. Flick out the back. <laughs> Rabbitohs have out, overrun it. And Bradman Best goes in for an easy one. Darren Lockyer. up. Well, if you let the attacking winger get the ball un uncontested, you've got to wrap the ball up as soon as he hits the ground. And Nicarima tries to do that, but there wasn't enough intensity in that. And then Edric Lee. And, yeah, it's, it's a worrying sign for the Rabbitohs because they are frantic with the football. And in defence, you want to see that scramble. And there just wasn't enough jerseys around the football then when, it, when Edric Lee got it. So the Knights are on top. They're, they're playing a lot more clinical than the Rabbits. Welcome back, Bradman Best. A try in his return. Now, our referee... Well, it's uh, it's the high out. shot okay. from... In this set, the try's been confirmed, OK? But in this set, before the try, you have high contact on Daniel Saifidi. It's on report, OK? Time off. Mm. Boom. That's a big forearm, isn't it? Look at the couple of weeks Edrick's having. Try assists, five tries. <laughs> like a blinder. It's two try assists tonight. <laughs> Your stand might be under threat. There might be a new nameplate going up. <laughs> I hope he's allowed in it. I don't know, let me in. It's my great stand. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ah, Milford's drilled it. Well, this is such a critical game for the Knights. They can close to within, I wouldn't say striking distance, but within the shadows of the eight if they can win this. But a loss would be nearly terminal for their season, and they're playing like it. Well, the loss a couple of weeks ago against Canberra. Hudson Young scored a try in the last 30 seconds. That's the one the Knights will look back on. And even in that game, Andrew, they were trailing 14-0. They came back to lead and only lost it in the last minute of the game. So there's been a trajectory there where they they have been improving. And Milford is enjoying a, a, a really good night. Paul up very shallow there. Look at this ball roll. Well, the trail needs to be slicky. Oh, oh, oh Milford chasing. He's going to be he's going to be jammed in the end goal. How about that? Well, that's footy. That's how you win games. The kick downfield by Milford and his halves partner, Adam Clune. He just goes through his gears, gets up to fourth, fifth gear and inspires his teammates who get down there on the kick chase with him. Have a look at Clune here. He gets down, forces the trail into a pass. And then Milford chasing his own kick. And then the troops come. That's a big, big play. Wonderful, the trail's thinking short here. Yeah. He is. It's a very high one. It, it go, oh, that's brilliantly done. What a great kick by Mitchell. Yeah, what a great kick. I can't understand why more teams don't do that. That was so high that there were three or four South players underneath it as it was dropping. Oh, and look at that. They compound it with a penalty. Great work. Well, there's a turning point. A short drop out, they get the ball back, and now a piggyback penalty coming out of trouble. Just 
all the momentum now just shifts back to South Sydney. Here's the dropout. And look at that. Just lands it straight on the spot. No Knights compete. I think the Latrell Mitchell could sense the way the game was going. They might have had trouble holding Newcastle out there with another set. Newcastle were just thundering down the field. Dominic's about to come back into. Yeah. Just watching Kurt Mann, he's really struggling. In the right centre. Yeah, he is too. He's looking badly. Let's see if, if Souths can, can make that uh, drop out. A genuine turning point here with Nikarima into the defence. Clune and Bradman Best provide the support. Here's Kaloa Matangi now. Tackled around the legs by Randall. Four metres out. Last tackle. Walker. Out to Mitchell. They've stripped them. It's a try to Richie Kenner. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. South Sydney facing a line drop out to an enthusiastic Newcastle Knights. Down 10 on the scoreboard. They come up with a short kickoff. They get a penalty. And on last play, Harvey Norman replay. This lethal left side just strips them there. Mitchell two on one with the winger and in they go. That, that's a major minute in the game right there. It's defensively, they're short of numbers. And then Latrell, he does it easy. <laughs> Those big moments, he just owns the big moments, Latrell Mitchell. Lockie. Yeah, Milford was, was well in field. He was right near the post. Normally, your, your foreman will stand on the post in that situation, last tackle. And when Milford decided to run out and put pressure on him, you see here, he, he's in real tight there, Milford. And then once they get it out the back off from the uh, from the ensuing play here, he just he sprints out of the line. That Once the ball went past him, they just had numbers and the trail won't miss from there. So big, big couple of minutes there from the trail, Mitchell and the Bunnies. 90% of your defence is just getting in position, getting in the right the right positions across the line, the right spacings across the field, the right numbers. They had two or three rucks to get it right, Newcastle, and they missed it. Oh, what a glorious kick. Such an effortless striker of the football, Andrew. He took that back to nearly the 30-metre line and absolutely flushed that conversion, and he was copying a bit of flack yeah. from the stand. Gave him that. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes easy to Luttrell. That ball exploded. Oh, the boot. Would have gone 60 metres. Good game. Really good game. 16 12. Third tackle penalty. Well, now it's just unraveled for the Knights. A couple of ill disciplines has invited South Sydney down to attacking territory. And when they get in this sort of mood, South, they don't miss. Newcastle will do very well to hold them out here. You'll just be following Cody Walker. Wherever he goes, you'll be double teaming him. Putting as many defenders on him as you can. Well, he and Latrell Mitchell are together behind the play of the ball talking. So they've told them to go somewhere so the pair of them can get ready. They're out on the left hand side. Oh, it's been strong, Burgess. There's a really good run. They're up to the 10 here. Kaloa Matangi and uh, a lovely tap on here. Jackson Paulo doesn't quite have the pace to get there. So the Knights come across and he stopped within seven metres of the Newcastle line. Third play. Cody Nikarima. Nicker, oh, what a good tackle by Hoy. He weaved and ducked through and a kick out here towards Kenner. Back to back. Beautiful. These modern day playmakers, there's nothing they can't do. There's no 
There's nothing you can throw at them defensively that they don't find a solution. Now, not at any stage did Cody Walker think he would have to kick this ball. But when the Newcastle defence reacts the way it does, without hesitation, he sees that he's... Richie Kenner is open. See that? Look, he's got plenty of players, plenty of numbers, but he says the easiest way is to just get it across there. Harvey Norman replay. That's just class from Cody Walker. Really good instinct. Just once again, they were caught short. In the middle of the field, they had three defenders there, Newcastle. Nick Arima went through paper-thin defence, which dragged all the defence in, and then Cody just never second-guessed himself. It's a great kick in. Lockie? Yeah, well, you, watched, you, you mentioned it, Joey, Nick Arima's run. That's what brought all the defence in. That's what made him short, but still, they got they got to get what bit more width with their defence, but this run here, he comes oh so close, Nick Arima. This is, he's an eyes up footballer. He's instinctive, yeah. but he's an eyes up. If he sees something, he'll have a crack. And that brought all the outside Newcastle defence there. You see him more bunched around the ball, and then you've got to have a footballer still analyse the situation and come up with the right play. And Cody Walker did that, and the Bunnies, they could be back in front. Well, the troll gets a chance for an action replay now. He's virtually on the same blade of grass he was a moment ago. I imagine the Newcastle Knights fans would be having another shot going, would they? Would they let him off? No. It didn't help him last time. He'd be quiet, wouldn't say anything. <laughs> and we were pretty subdued. Boom. He's done it again. <laughs> what? Ah, the big guns have stood up in the last couple of minutes. Back-to-back -back tries for South. Latrell and Cody in the thick of it. Look at this for a rumble back. Here's Shaq Mitchell. Two Mitchells out there. You asked if the Newcastle fans were giving it to him again. There's your answer. Keep it coming. You could see it at the golf ball a mile, Latrell, with the easiest sweep if his kicking's anything to go by. Oh, timing. So Shaq's out there now. Shaquille Mitchell, first time they've uh, paired up at NRL level. Played some junior at footy together. A really for Cody Nicarima. Pokes it over the top. And takes a Nathan Lyon over the touchline. Well, what a turnaround. That short line dropout has totally changed the complexion of the game. Mm. South are down 16-6, doing nothing, going nowhere. Knights on top. Short line dropout, get possession, penalty, try. Kick off reception, get a penalty, try. A couple of booming conversions, and all of a sudden they're in front. The NRL's free-to-play game. Pickham is back. Just picked the winning margin from four selected matches to win a share of the $100,000 weekly prize. NRL.com slash Pickham to get involved there. So Adam O'Brien, he was sitting pretty earlier. The tensions crept into the box in the last little while. Still nothing in it, though. Three minutes to go. We'll get a set start. 30 metres out. South Sydney line. That's some joy going to their right, the Knights. The Dominic Young side. And they might move Edric Lee into halfback. That might be the option. <laughs> so that's Croker in uh, 17 out there. And here's Clemmer, a try scorer already tonight. They get a set restart. Plume for Hoy. Good defence. Nikarima with a, a sweeping tackle, took his legs away. Barnett. Six more. And the school bell's working overtime here. Michael Cheekham in 16's on the ground now. First time we've seen him at the NRL level. Oh, intercept! Cody! Cody rushes! 
Belching away upfield. Dom Young's coming. Not even Dom's going to get him. Cody Walker. He loves it. Well, he took the odds to it there, didn't he? But the passing was slow. Slow and predictable. And Cody Walker just said, I'll have a piece of this. Yeah, Matt Croker passes off the inside leg, Gus. No power in his pass. Harvey Norman replay, watch 17. Falls back on the inside leg and just throws the ball with no power whatsoever. And then the last eight minutes, three tries by South Sydney. Well, that's incredible. Newcastle were all over them. Mm. That's a nothing pass. They run the wrong lines at the wrong angle at the wrong time. Cody Walker, just the instinct to pick them off. What a turnaround. He's the main man, Cody Walker. Eight tries this year. 11 try assists, so 12 try assists in the season now. If you add that, that lovely kick there for Kenner on, he had 33 last season. This is a great example of what Souths can do to an opposition, mate. Once they get a sniff, they've gone crunch. So Latrell's kick over the top. Wednesday, State of Origin 3, the decider live from a sold-out Suncorp Stadium, exclusive live and free on Nine's Wide World of Sports. It simply does not get any bigger or any better than the greatest rivalry in Australian sport. All the action right here on Wide World of Sports from 7 o'clock on Wednesday. I think Newcastle would feel a bit shell-shocked as they walk up the tunnel at halftime. I've just been giving Andrew mouth to mouth. He's coming around. Not another doctor. All the blood's drained from his face. Don't tell Gus, I was only pretending. <laughs> <laughs> Walker, Latrell. And Kenna. Oh, Dom Young tried to pinch it. It's not going to matter. That's half time. Well, that's an extraordinary first 40 minutes of football. <laughs> extraordinary. Entertaining. Yeah. Who'd want to be a football coach? All right. So uh, Latrell in conversation there with our referee, Todd Smith. But Souths looked well off the pace until... Cody and Latrell stepped up. At halftime, they lead. It's 24-16. It must have been frustrating, uh, I guess, to, to be on top and then come in the halftime with that scoreline. Yeah, disappointed. Um, our discipline letting them out of their own end and a bit of our first contact. Well, they're rolling us down the, the field and they've got some dangerous players that will make you pay if you don't want to aim up defensively. So um, but we need to regroup and restart again. And... Um, to it and come up with the second half. Good luck. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Darren. Thanks, Adam O'Brien. Burgess from a long way back to get us underway for the second half. Thanks to Ampol, who are fueling this second half. We are uh, putting to you both Phil Gould and Andrew Johns' a statement. Of all the goal kickers in the NRL, Latrell Mitchell is the sweetest striker of the ball. Yes. For sure. Well, there might be some as good. There's none better. It's amazing how many left-handed sportsmen, left-footed kickers, left-handed batsmen, left-handed bowlers. They just look different, don't they? Left-handed golfers. Just look so rhythmical and smooth. And Matt Burton with that big left foot with those high kicks. Yeah. Here's another one from the left boot. Walker. Well taken, Dom Young. I might change to being left-handed. Make a comeback. It's not to get that extra whip. Oh, it's not working out for me as a right hand. In which which pursuit? The golfing, you mean? Anything. <laughs> I'm turning the left hand. Oh, 
the pass from Clemmer, knocked on by Clune. He has three tries before half time, and they're going to have a look at another opportunity here. This one, Adam. I'll let you have a look. Yep. So the trainer is with Adam Clune and he's coming from the field. Well, everything was going so well. We might see Jaden Braley here. Gee, his brother was good last night. Yeah. I think Jaden Braley's already out there. Is he? Yep. All oh, right. Okay. So what will happen here? As Kurt Mann is coming on, it would seem. So like Bradley went on at half time. Um, well, Milford to half. Well, Kurt Mann can hardly run. Look at, he's coming on the field. He's hobbling. Kalama Tangi begins the assault for South Sydney. There's Jaden Bradley in 14. Pavili pirouettes and gives it back to Kaloa Matangi. 22 metres out from the Newcastle line, 24-16. It's a very delicate scoreline. This Newcastle wouldn't want to concede any more damage. The ball goes through Nikarima, Walker, Mitchell, Paulo. Best gets across and missed. And man's in there. And Leo Thompson's in there as well. The fourth tackle. They spin it left. Cody Nicarima through Cody Walker. Oh, Young came out of the line. And there's a free passage for Kenner to score in the corner. Like, honestly. He's got three tries, Richie Kenner. It doesn't matter who plays on the left wing for the Rabbitohs. He score tries. There's been plenty of them over the years. What's Cody Walker? Just cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Watch this. He'll just react. Harvey Norman replay. The ball comes across. Newcastle do their thing in defence. He said, well, you do that, and I'll just wait, and then I'll put my man away. Well, Anthony Milford is that close to Tyson Frizzell. Comes up, and then he goes in. The spacing is terrible between back rower and half. And then just the overlap on the outside, and that wasn't even a training gallop. That was a warm-up for a training gallop. Darren Lockyer. Well, in the late in the first half, Mitchell put the kick in. So it was the same defence, same result, just a different play from Cody Walker. But at half time, surely they addressed their spacing on the on the goal line and, and talked about coming out of the line because that's what Cody Walker does. We how many times we see that last year down that left edge and even this year, but Richie Kenner, he's he's having a night out. Welcome back, Richie. Yeah. You grab anyone with the south jumper on and put him on the left. Well, Alex, Alex Johnson, I think he's nursing a hamstring. He could have played. <laughs> he's filthy. Here's Latrell again. He hasn't missed a goal since he's come back from injury. Five from five last week, four from four here. Oh, Matthew. Oh, Gus! No goal. Stay inside here, boys. Stay inside, Anthony. Tommy, run out there! Well, there's a lovely angle. Looking down to... I think that's the northern end of uh, McDonald Jones Stadium. And tackled here is Burgess. Just prior to his 20. And now 
Shaq Mitchell. They have to find some speed of the line, Newcastle, around the middle of the field. They're just dawdling off the line, which enables South Sydney just to roll the ruck and roll forward play quick. And then that's where the damage is done, do, getting done on the edge. But from South Bigman just rolling forward. There was no speed of the defensive line at all. They've not had a lot of ball recently, actually. Pretty much not since that short line dropout. Yeah. Up she goes again. That's got uh, plenty of hang time as well. And Young, all he can do is catch it and submit. I think Cody Walker's now got them absolutely bluffed down this left hand side of the field. They'll just be taking him to the middle, taking him to the far post, and say, give me another look at them. They don't know what they're doing. Wouldn't you think you just load another defender up and just slide another one over? Dominic Young. Good run. And Braley for Barnett. Mitchell and Michael Cheekham. It's had a long wait to get back in the top grade. Michael. Now Clemmer. Oh, he wanted to offload again. Plays it in the middle of the ground. Milford sends it skyward. Latrell's waiting underneath it. Tawala and Brazil race down there. And the tackle uh, made by Matt Croker. Away for Isaiah Tass. 19 runs for almost 200 metres for Souths against Parramatta last week. Well, this far out, Newcastle have to be the next to score. Ah, there's a lost ball, so an opportunity now. They get an opportunity, as you said, since the 30th minute, since that uh, short dropout, they've hardly had the ball, Newcastle. So at the end of this set, trying to force the offload, at the end of this set, if they don't cross the line, it's really important they get a, a really good kick away to sustain that pressure. Tex Hoy. Here's Milford. Tass with an important tackle. Young, a floating pass. And Tex Hoy along to David Clemmer. He's knocked over by Burgess and assisted by Havili, 12 metres out. Braley away for Milford. Short pass now to a charging croaker. Shaq Mitchell, Michael Cheekham, the defenders. And Clemmer, little dummy. And uh, he keeps driving here. A tenacious run by Clemmer. Jaden Braley. Tyson Frizzell. The line's almost there. He wanted to pass Tyson. Great tackle. Milford along the ground. Ah, oh, it was red. It was red to perfection by Nikarima. But... Oh, there you go. In front of the it's a penal penalty to South. They got that one wrong. He got his vision wrong here too, Milford. He shapes the kick to the post and South Sydney outside backs react. Had he just hooked it across the field, I think Newcastle would have been unmarked in the left-hand corner. He kind of signalled what he was going to do, and when they reacted to it, he did it anyway. And once again, the defence just waiting. Big men just rolling over the advantage line. Playing the ball way too quickly. Now the 18 out there, that's Daniel Saluka for feeder. He moved from the Roosters on Monday. Lines up for Souths on Friday. Walker Mitchell again, that combination, and now for Tass. Tuala was thinking about a pinch there, but uh, the second defender came in, that was Milford. Walker and Tom Burgess, last tackle. Leo Thompson in there and Croker as well. And Havili runs himself. Can he find an offload? It's a strange play on last tackle. I can only assume he didn't have the tackle count. Well, the Knights have got to have a reaction. Like they're, just, they're not responding at the moment to what's happened to them. They just look a little bit shell shocked. Oh, 
penalty. This will help. Why, Richie? With Denica or that, uh, Lockie can go and check on Adam Clune. He's still got on. about seven minutes remaining on his assessment at the moment. We just double checked with the HIA officials, so he's still in the sheds. Wait for the tap. Wait. Tuwala taps and runs. Cass and Cart right in defence. Now Daniel Sofiti is back on the ground. Over the halfway, Burgess there to meet him. Milford. Hoy joining in. Cass drags him down with Walker. Just in from that touch line. Frizzell over to Milford. Now to Clemmer. Heating up plenty of metres, big David Clemmer. He's uh, up past the century. His Kurt Mann. He beat uh, Tom Burgess, who came racing across the field, but Nicarima and Cheekam grab him. But uh, that's a run of great persistence by Mann. Clemmer. I hope they know it's the last tackle. Milford eventually puts a kick through and it bounces uh, along the ground, and Richie Kenner dives on it. Well, everyone there was standing still. Standing still to catch and pass, and then passes going behind. There was no fluency or, or execution in that whatsoever. South Sydney are doing everything on the run. Newcastle are standing still with everything they do. Yep. Challenge. Ash, captain's challenge from Newcastle. They're challenging the call of ruck interference, which causes the play to break down. There's got to be a responsibility on the man playing the ball to play it properly. I mean, Dominic Young doesn't Dominic do anything Young deliberately here. Which comes forward to, to interfere the ball, with the play. Which interferes with play. The challenge is unsuccessful. He doesn't do anything wrong there. It's a pretty ordinary effort to play the ball. Luca Fafida, who's turned out a few times for the Roosters this year. He's a good young player. Yeah. He's a South junior, actually. The Roosters poached him and South poached him back. They're a lump of a kid. He's got, uh, he's got plenty of IQ, too. Yes, Danica. Yeah, some good news for the Newcastle Knights. Adam Clune has passed his head injury assessment. He has about three and a half minutes to go. Uh, but just repeating that, Adam Clune has passed his Thank HIA, so he'll be back on. OK, in Danica, battle. thanks. Here's a, a bit of a half bust. Tass made some ground. And over to the big front rower, to Tola. Last tackle for Souths. Walker, that's bounced off legs. Hot ball, this one. Not played at. Now, Walker's tossed the ball away here. Are they challenging? Yep. OK, Ash, captain's challenge from South. Challenging the decision of hand over. They're claiming the ball's played at. Walker threw the ball away to make sure he got the referee's attention. Yeah, Anthony play. Milford plays at the ball. This resets the tackle count. Playing on at this stage. Cody Walker gains position and then is the tackle is completed by Tyson Frizzell. The challenge is successful. He knew Cody Walker. That's why he threw the ball away. Just to stop the play and get the yep. referee's attention. Thank you. Well, this is a big set of six right here. A call going against Newcastle, and they're forced to defend their line again. Down by 12, more points would be a big problem. Inside the 10, to Tola playing it. Nicarima for Tom Burgess. And bounced away from Clem, Braley around the legs. Tom, um, that's uh, the replacement player, Swallow, on the field now. As they come out to Tass. They've got to work together. At the moment, no one on that edge, on that right edge, is working together. 
I don't know if there's no talk or what. The ref's got his arm up here. I think it was only a four tackle. He might have gone early. Oh, did Hoy force that? I don't think he did. I think this will be a try. Yeah. I think Tex Hoy might have come up with thin air. No, we have no try. Just confirm that Kurt Mann grounds the ball. I thought I saw a little squeeze. A little squeeze on the ground. I'm saying he had control on it, but I think right here. Remember those kick chases onside? Well, mm. maybe not. Just looking to see whether Tex Hoy grounds the ball. No, 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 no. There's no grounding from Tex Hoy. It's play on at this stage. Well, front rowers are scoring for fun tonight. Aren't they? This will be his first of the year. Tavita Totola grounds the ball. We have a decision. What's happened in Newcastle? They were flying early. Hit the wall. <laughs> Tavita Totola, the front rower, showing the urgency to get to the ball. It was a beautifully placed kick. Harvey Norman replay. Boy couldn't get it. The big front row comes through and gets himself a try. Darren Lockyer. Yeah, there's just no intensity from Newcastle. But before that short dropout early in that, uh, well, midway through that first half, as we see Latrell Mitchell about to bang this one over, the early kick was working for him. I think they need to go back there, try and turn the Rabbitohs around. The other thing is at the moment with the Rabbits, we see Latrell Mitchell come in. Surely he nails this as he does. Is that eight? I don't know who halfback is. If Illy's off, Nick Arima's at hooker. Walker is the halfback, but I don't know who's playing six. Hmm. 34-16, it was 16-6 in favour of Newcastle. Well, they just haven't dealt with setbacks, Newcastle. It was, it was all good while things were going their way and the wind in their sails, but a little bit of a headwind and the balloon just burst. Oh. No real resilience at all. And conversely, it's a... Uh... A very good effort this from South Sydney. A, a totally different looking team to the one which defeated Parramatta last week. Nine changes overall when you consider origin representation and injury. And yet they trailed early in the game and the class of Walker and Mitchell. Too good. Well, they lost Lachlan Ilias in the second tackle of the game. Yeah, of course. That ball's going to come just quietly. Here's Hoy trying to find some room. Now a big Edric. Well, I need something from someone. A big run, a big tackle, something to inspire the teammates. There's still 25 minutes to go. Because yeah. at the moment, they're just on their heels, they're just waiting. Bradley for Barnett. What's the possession here? It's 57% in favour of South Sydney. Brayley, away now for Man. There's a ball. He's a run into the clear. Milford backing up. And a solo is up against Mitchell and maintained possession. He didn't have anyone close enough to link up with. Newcastle on tackle five. Chawala, Dom Young, no! Tony Walker, 10 metres. Had an impact on the play. You went early. They get another shot at them through a penalty. Hey, 
Can they find a try here? As Gus said, there's plenty of time. Mm. That's Richie Kenner. Scored three tries. Richie, they're lining up to take your spot on the left wing. <laughs> they try and stay out there. I just saw Reggie Rabbit, the mascot. He went over the bench. <laughs> Started stretching. <laughs> You'd play on the left wing for nothing, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't you? Just roll and just, just pay me by the try. Likely looking kid, this one. Sami Solo. Milford. For Saifidi. If he, oh, he had to link up with Clooney. He was over untouched. Play on. So the ball went back before bouncing forward. That's the ruling from the referee. Barnett. And that's a that's a way to play Russian defence. Short passes, play through the line. Underneath the post here. Braley for Clune. One bounce, a nice hand toy. And Tuala. Good desperation. Yeah, great defence, great scramble. Milford now, Hoy in the centre of the ground, nowhere to go. He's up against Tom Burgess. And Tom's always going to win that battle. Eight metres out. They're stacked out left now. Clune. Oh, it's off a South Sydney hand. More tackles. Okay, it's in the middle. Why would you play the ball on last play? They had them covered. But the ball goes from one sideline for the night. So they make a dent, get a quick play of the ball, and then they open the field up. There's nothing organised on the way back. The ball just either goes to a front rower who hits it up or one of the ball players, in that case Tex Hoy, just runs to the line with, with nothing organised. They start communicating, working off the ball. Still 22 minutes to go. I mean, three tries in this era is nothing. Yeah. You've just got to get the first one. Hoy! Can't get past Cartwright. That's two big tackles from Jed Cartwright in the last little bit. Milford, can he bump away? He's got plenty of strength for a little bloke. Every South person except Reggie the Rabbit's there to stop him. You got to play it, Anthony. You got to play it. Hey, let go, in Junior. Come on, mate. Tackle two. He's standing very deep in Newcastle. He's. Uh, Solo again. Daniel move! Braley's going to head right where Milford's waiting for it. Now Frizzell. Cut right again. Five metres out. And once again, they're all very deep out to the left. Solo linking. Clue now floats one over the top. Hedrick! Another one! The Prince of Newcastle! Lovely play. Lovely play. There's plenty of time to go. Plenty of time. Just had to get the first one. Finally got themselves out deep enough with some good shape. On the Harvey Norman replay, some nice hands until it gets to Clune. And he does a Cody Walker. Selective pass. Finds Edric Lee, who goes in for yet another try. That's good play. It wasn't pretty, but they went to the right. They got Tyson Frizzell. Quick play the ball, then opened up the field. That's how to play. Your attack's got to flow. Especially if you get some quick play the balls off your back row. At that time, Tyson Vassell in behind. Quick play the ball. You reckon he likes this ground? 20 tries <laughs> in 19 games. Ah, oh, build him a statue. He's off to the Dolphins next year. Build well, this, him one there too. This is a big conversion kick. It's a big difference between being down by 14 and down by 12. Mm. If he can put this through the post and get the crowd back into the game and get South Sydney a little bit nervous looking over their shoulder, anything is possible here. I've seen him kick some beautiful goals, this boy. He's got a really nice strike when he gets it right. He's on the 20-metre juncture there, so that's a very acute angle. And it shows he's worried about the distance. Yeah, And that breeze is blowing left to right. So we want to start this ball pretty much straight at the black dot. Oh, yes, Anthony Milford. Game back on now. Uh, this Sunday, Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy. Suncorp, we get an early look.
at the State of Origin decided, well, at least an early look at the ground. The Broncos up against the Dragons. All the action here on your home of Rugby League Nines Wide World of Sports. And that's another interesting one, albeit some players missing, certainly for Brisbane. But gee, the Dragons get a crack at them, don't they? So I'm looking forward to Katoni Staggs up against Moses Suli. Mm. Two powerhouses in the centres. Only one missing for the Dragons. It's a big one, though, in Ben Hunt. And Jaden Sullivan gets his chance in the number seven. Only 12 the difference here. 20 minutes to go. There's a mile of time for the Knights. Get another one, kick the goal. They're on the springboard. Is Bradman best? He's had no ball at all, hasn't mm. Bradman? He's had some good runs, hasn't he? He's Saw sparked though. him. He's sparked him I since like he's him. been on. A bit of speed over the advantage line. Now yeah, Braley with a run. Good run too. 20 metres. That's good stuff. Fifth tackle option. Really effective here. Milford's going to... Oh, Milford. He runs, then kicks. Pressure here. Oh, they all fly. No one came down with the ball. Latrell was just mopping up the scraps, minding his own business around the back. Oh, he's hurt his leg again, Kenner. He's Richie, you got to you got to keep that left wing spot, mate. Now Isaiah Tass. That was strange. Everyone jumped, but no one wanted to catch it. A little bit of encouragement for the Knights, though. Mm. A couple of good runs through the middle of the, the play the ball area. Maybe South Sydney thought they had this wrapped up. Oh. And Tuala and Dominic Young. Oh. <laughs> Have they taken their advantage? You've taken your advantage. There's your answer. No You've taken your advantage. South ball. Well, hey, that's a let off for South. They come up with no. the fumble. Where do you want the scrum? And Dominic Young is off for the prize the and can't get a handle on Scrum's the ball. Here. All right, we've got a viewer poll. Big, big news day in rugby league. Head to Twitter at NRL on nine. We're currently asking who should replace Cameron Munster at 5'8 for Queensland. Wally Lewis? Don't think he's an option. Ben Hunt or Tom Dearden? Or if you've got another suggestion, you can leave your thoughts there. Wow. Cameron Munster. COVID. Who do I think? Well, you I don't don't care what I think. No, no, it's a, it's a Twitter poll. Oh, yeah. So, Fede with a big shot. What do you reckon, Gus? The Queenslanders have got the Blues just where they want them? Uh, beware of wounded Queenslander. Mm -hmm. We've seen it before. Gee, it'd be big to throw Tom Dearden into the insider at some court, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, he's born to play it. Yeah. Well, did you hear the interview with Billy before? Mm -hmm. He sounded quite bullish about Dearden. Oh, he's a mistake. Oh, now Sydney is standing still. South Sydney is standing still to pass the ball. Challenge? This, look, this game is precariously paced. They want to be quite careful here, South Sydney. Okay, yes. Challenging this one. Captain's challenge from South. Challenging the call and knock on. I thought he drops it and it goes onto his foot. Drops it there. That goes backwards. And so we play on. Well, I'll have to go back to the previous play, the ball, I'd say. Yeah, Katie Walker appears to fumble the ball, but regains it and loses it backwards. Let's play on at this stage. Camera one. The whistle's then blown by the referee, so it's a mutual infringement. We'll go back to the previous play, the ball. He was a white puller. You've got to play the ball, okay? 38 out. Yep. Okay, just over here, mate. But you'll play the ball. Right here. Uh, Darren Lockyer, Pasami Solo. He's been impressive. He has. Uh, he came on. He made that. He hit that line. Made that break earlier. Hang on. And then he, he had a little uh, sort of ball movement that that led to that try for the Knights. That's given him some energy. And then. He played for the uh, the Mary All Stars in 2020. Made his debut 2018. So a name we haven't seen for a while, but I've been impressed. Mm. 
So uh, tackle three now, and uh, Saluka for feeder from the resumption, 26 metres out. Oh, hang on, we've got the tackle count mixed up here. It's saying fifth tackle now. Paulo, down the wing. Jackson Paulo. They didn't tackle him. There were, there were ample defenders there. It looked like no one tackled him. Like in that situation, you just got to put your body on the line. Just invited him down. Gave him so much room, and it just felt like there was jogging away. Last play, Harvey Norman replay. There's nothing doing here. Nothing at all. Gee. Yeah, poor defence. Well, it's terrible defence, and, and particularly in terms of the game. Like they've just got themselves back into the contest. Plenty of defenders there. Plenty of people to make a covering tackle or to get up and bustle them. And on last play, they've just let them go around them like under sevens. That's a, that's a bad concession there from the Knights. With full marks to the Rabbitohs. They moved the ball on tackle five. They took the odds to it. Mitchell Pierce, uh, Mitchell, Latrell Mitchell again making the extra man there, but. Gee, they love Mitchell Pierce, Gus, wouldn't they? Mitchell Pierce, he just fell off the lounge. <laughs> his parade just fell off. <laughs> he had to put his, <laughs> his croissant. He put his baguette down. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's in a coffee really? shop in P P Paris and he's just heard his name. <laughs> Monsieur Pierce. What time is it in Paris? Um, mid morning, is it? Near, nearly lunchtime. Almost time for a red wine. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting out of bed. This is his favourite side. Oh, can't quite hold it. Come on. Well, it is the game that we've been waiting for. It's the game of the season. It's the the grandest of occasions, State of Origin decider. Wednesday night, live from Suncorp in the only place you'll see all the action, exclusive live and free, is here on your home of Rugby League Nines Wide World of Sports. We've got a, a couple of left field, well, maybe left field suggestions that have come through on our Twitter poll. Kalen Ponga 5'8", Reese Walsh fullback is one of them. Short kickoff. He's offside. I think they've got to go with Dearden. That's what he is. He's professional 5'8". That's, that's his job. That's what he does every week. Mm -hmm. Give it to someone who does the job every week. His team is running second in the competition. Yeah. Got plenty of teammates out there. Oh, I just think... Give it to the professional, the one that does it for a living. Kaloa Matangi. Plays on now for Totola. He's had a big night tonight. Scored a try. Fast bounces. Mitchell fires it away. Tane Milne with it now. How many times have South Sydney thrown the ball on the ground tonight? Must be half a dozen times. They're not clinical at all. Now Michael Cheekan. One-handed offload. And again. Yep. Avili. Back to Mitchell. They can't put him on the ground here. Oh, the Trills run straight off the top of Brad the best. And let him know about it too as he was going to ground. Mill. Cody Nicarima. Totola through a hole. He beat Milford. He gets to the fullback. He's trying to get to the line. He can't. Here's the last, and they go left, they score here. Tap on play. Oh, it bounced past him and over the sideline. Where do you want to play the ball? Yeah, it was a good Where hustle from it? Dominic Young. I think he was the only defender on that side of the field. But once again, paper thin defence. Paper thin. Just edge defenders not all working together. One coming out of the line, one staying back. Danica. 
Yes, a great showing here at McDonald Jones Stadium tonight. 18,621 fans have turned out. You can probably hear them behind me there up on their feet cheering their side on. It has been a little bit of a tough one for some Knights fans up here. Uh, prior to last week's win over the Titans, they had been on a five-game losing streak at this ground. So a great turnout tonight, over 18,000. All right. That's, that's a good crowd. And look, they were, they were jumping early. The Knights, the Knights looked like they'd come to play. It turned, it turned on that, that short, short drop, drop out. out. Turned the whole game. But, Matt, you, you, you've got to defend those. You've got to have some resilience in that. He's defeating now. Within 24 of the south line, Michael Cheekham there in defence, the primary uh, defender. Now Hoy around the back. Now Tawala, they've got plenty of numbers over there, south. Milford, Clemmer. Well, they went to the right. They opened the field up and the ball goes to a front rower. I think it's David Clemmer. But... Barnett! Barnett! He's got it there. He's a hard man to pull up from close range. And Mitch Barnett with a try. How right. long to go? Is it 12 minutes? 12 minutes to go. Kick the goal. You're back within 14. Harvey Nor Norman replay, Mitch Barnett sees the gap and then straightens off the left foot. Bit of good footwork in the line, gets through, reaches out. Nice result. He's been strong tonight, Barnett. Lockie. Yeah, Braley, he goes right. And that sort of tricks the, the defence, the, the Rabbitohs defence on, the, on, on their right-hand side and opens up the space for Barnett. Taking a break. And... Uh, as you see, Anthony Milford, who is three from three, all on this side. Here he comes. Nice work, Anthony. You see there, he face, he shapes right, and that's what the Rabbitohs' defence on the right there. They all sort of go passive, and that opens the space. And Barnett, well, they got a sniff. Yeah, absolutely. It's now it's only ten the difference. If they if they stopped that try previously, like the really poor effort. Mm. They're way back in the game. That's a point of thunder tonight. Well, there's, there's heaps of tries left that are available. Well, there's probably two or three tries they could have saved with a little bit better execution, a bit of bit better effort. You never know how close you are to winning. Sometimes it feels bad, but if you can just hang in there, it comes back to you at the back end of the game. Still plenty of time to score two tries. player Barnett. There he is again, ripping and tearing. And Clemmer, how many metres has he made tonight? Up, up past 120 for David Clemmer. Now Safidi. So they're out to their own 40 after four plays here. Tom Burgess leading the metre eaters. He's been very strong. It's a toller, a try scorer tonight too. On the halfway, can Milford get one of those spiral bombs going? Ducked inside of the chasing defender, and it's an end over end one for Mitchell. Now Saul is after it, and he got him good. Oh, he's not hurt, is he? Uh, David, he's... be careful. That is unsafe. Be careful. Now, what's, what's Clemmer barking at here? He's saying Latrell. Uh. Saying when he spins around, his contact with. Suo's head there. Oh, well, accident. Play on. It's a ball current arm. You'll play the ball, tackle one. Yeah, they're happy with them. Yeah. Solo's got HIA. He's going off HIA, Ash. Oh, something hitting okay. in the head. Yep, okay, thank you. I will, mate. I'll wait. Yeah. You'll wait, yeah. It's all Ashley. Thanks. He's, he's, um, he's not very fast off the field here, so that's obviously stung him. But he's done enough to it's impress. It's a shame he's, yeah. he's really added some enthusiasm. 
Bit of speed around the ruck. He's got some, some acceleration, both in attack and defence. A lot of head knocks tonight. Yeah, has not there? Randall's back out there. Well, he'll tackle everything. So a little break there for both teams and Newcastle trying to re-energise their defence. They're within 10 points. They could still win the game. So look at Fafita. That's a forceful run. He's a big unit. Big powerful player. Big units. Now Burgess. More metres on his tally. Barnett, the defender, just short of the halfway. Nikarima down the right-hand side. Kaloa Matangi. That was good work by Barnett. Last tackle. And Cody Nikarima is going to bang this out. Yeah, smart kick. Just puts the ball out. Gives his big boys a rest. He'll drive his forwards. For a big set defensively. And the Knights. Milford's the man for the Knights. Now, the magic of the Premiership is that it is real. 16 teams chasing the same dream of Premiership glory. Experience the Premiership live. Secure your seats. NRL.com slash tickets is the place to go. Frizzell squeezes it out. And Clemmer again. Here goes Safidi. There's encouraging signs here for the Knights. Here. Oh, this is a, that was a, a ball that didn't find its mark and South threatened to win it back there. They've lost some momentum as a result of that. And Tyson's been stung. Clement to Kloon. What's Milford got for us here? Boom. Safidi chasing through. He doesn't want to make a play at the ball. Mitchell takes it. Get out, Chris. And Jackson Paulo. Okay, the Knights force an error here. Tane Milne in from the centres. They're not going anywhere in a hurry here, Souths. It's safety first football. Kenner. They're very bunched behind the play of the ball. They've got no intention of throwing it around. And now Moali. He's had a, a big spell on the bench. He's only a baby, isn't he? He's 18. I think he, he's a Waverley College. Mm. He played with Ronald Volkman. He's at the Warriors now. Oh, the extra kick. Oh, good take by Yeah. Six and a half left. And what have the Knights got? Here's Edric Lee. Can they set up some sort of a long-range raid and give us a, a thrilling end? Hoy now at a dummy half. Clune for Barnett, for Bradman Best. They, they mark him very nicely there. Paulo and uh, Tane Milne, the defenders. Ball set from Barnett to Clune and Clemmer with a hit up here on tackle number four. Clune now sticks it through. Mitchell's got a chase. Clune's after it. And Luttrell, he's going to take it over the back. Yeah, smart kick. But once again, they went to the left side, opened the field up and just took a settler in. Yeah, and Andrew, I think... A lot of the times tonight, you see that Newcastle is starting to get on a roll. And then David Clemmer, for all his enthusiasm and his passion, and he's having a whale of a game, he just gets in the way, doesn't he? Yeah, but that's the job of the halves. Yeah, they got, you can't be giving him the ball all the time just because he's there. He's trying really hard, but sometimes it's counterproductive to what you're trying to do. Oh, sure, sure. kick off. And I'm gone, Tim. Why would they do that? Still hasn't gone, Tim. All right, here's a chance. Gus, why would they do that when they lead by 10? I can't answer you. I Is it no a full answer. moon out there? I'm without answer. 
there. I am without answer. I have no answer. I don't know why footballers do what they do. I stopped trying to work it out many, many years ago. <laughs> You're the boss of a whole, I, I a whole 30 of them. I think the coach is thinking the same thing. <laughs> I used to have nightmares. I used to lose sleep. I used to sit up and worry about it. Now I don't care what footballers think, nor do I want to interpret what he was thinking. Okay. Here's, here's Brayley. <laughs> Less than five to go. Good offload. Jaden Brayley. Away to Clune. Brevin Best. Game on. He oh, got did he get it down? Surely he, he didn't get the ball down. Leave it, leave it. Well, he was over the line. Hey, he just had to put it down. Oh, how did he not get it down? He wanted yeah, one more little wrestle with his tackler. He, he actually straight has back. the ball over the line ready to put it down. What's here? Get put it down. Low. Oh, good. That's Nick Arima. Is it? No, sorry. Seven. It's Moali. Sorry. What a seventeen, tackle. not fourteen. All right, still a chance. Randall on for Clemmer. Now Milford. Now Hoy. Now Tuala. Tuala back infield. Beat Cartwright. Again, another good chase there. Moali he held up. Bradman Best and made an important tackle there. Milford stepping, jinking Milford. No. Last tackle. They got a score here. They've got to find a try. Kick to Edric. Edric Lee. No. It's too deep. No, 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 no. That wasn't the play. That was the worst possible result. To give them 20 metres and seven tackles. That was the worst result. Take that out of the equation. Look at South. They're all bunched behind the play of the ball. They didn't get scored enough. Well, Bradman Best had a real chance to get them on the springboard oh, there. I, you can't believe he didn't get it down. Could have been a four-point ball game with still four or five minutes to go. David, up. Oh. A salute to Fafita now. This could be a massive result for South. They're going to be up. Not too far away from the top four, if I can see this out, as Burgess uh, flicks the ball out the back there where Saluka Fafita is waiting for it. He's had a whale of a game, Burgess. Yeah. Walker up in the air, Young with the catch, Cartwright down to get him. So this will take them into fifth, potentially, this, this victory for South. Well, Dominic Young, once again, has been the best for the Knights. Well, I think when the Knights go home and review this on video, they'll be shocked at just how close to winning they really were, yet how far away they were because of their language, their body language, and the silly things that they've done in attack and defence. Rabideau's really with that foot that burst at the back end of the first half. Yep. Here's a couple of tough units at each other. And there's the young bull and the old bull right there. Look out. Luttrell. Oh, he lost it. It's penalty. They're still at it. Yeah, they're clear now. This was the young bull and the old bull. Big Dave Clemmer. I'm against Keon Kalamatangi, who's still mouthing off They're into <laughs> Just let him go at it. No Please. Hey, the old days, they go at the back of the grandstand and finish that off. He's throwing punches there. There's so no you punches. need to talk to them. Cody, I'm going to. Well, There's we'll no it. punches. So, the blokes actually Twice take it out the back of the grandstand in your day? Oh, in the old days, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no punches. Keep Here we go. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. We're not allowed to punch. What are we doing this for? So, we'll push. We'll push. Don't you let go. Don't you get let go of my jersey. Let go of my jersey. Oh, whoop. No. Post match coming up. More in the Maroons' COVID situation. We have a look ahead to the decider. Lockie's in the winner's sheds, and we'll get our Maccas player of the match as well. Well, let's see if Keon lines up. Big Dave Clemmer and says, I'm coming at you. He's still going. Yeah. 
Come on, give him the ball. Give him the ball. Clem is ready for him. Oh, he's ready for his work with the feeder too. Oh, a bit of extra on the ground too. Oh, in, in comes Latrell. The, what, they're coming from everywhere. Latrell objected to that, and uh, there's a bit doing here. That's another David push and pull of fun. Leave it, Cody. Hey, Cody, Mitch, leave it. The Walk clock's back. still going. There was. Has the referee, has the referee the stopped the Tyson. clock? No, he wants the game over. Yeah. There's no point playing on. Yep. There's two take teams. Your team back. We'll take back. Lost their We're concentration there. It's for 80 minutes. Let's go. So South have got take the win wrapped back. up. Well, well let's see what happened in here. There's only one of the trail running in. Take him back. Oh, he thought there was an elbow. Right back, Latrell, Latrell, I want you to go right back and I need to deal with it. Let's go. Back, back. We know the referees yep. object to the player running in, third man in as they call it, okay. so I think Latrell right, might it, find mate. himself in a bit of... David. Well, he actually ran in and knocked Trevor. his own player out of the way, mm. then David. grabbed hold of Clemmer. Well, if Clemmer and Kaloa Tangi actually went at it, then that wouldn't have happened. No. But you can't have that. It's reckless contact on the ground, direct oh. to the head. You're off. He's off. Oh, what? See, that's a byproduct of what happened with him and Kaloa Matoni. Of course, they pushed and shoved and carried on. For the last 10 seconds of the you game, the he's now got to face judiciary. You can go for goal. Okay. Right. It's reckless contact, direct to the head. <laughs> Going for goal. Oh, what a disappointing way to end the night. He's had a good game. He's tried really hard. Tried to inspire his teammates and then pulse up over 180. The brain switches off and he does something silly in the last tackle of the game. Just inside the 20 in line. This is going to end up 40 to 28. So we'll uh, we'll have a bit more of a look at that in our post game. We haven't seen any any other angles which show the contact clearly um, as vividly as the referee saw it there. But Mitchell kicks the goal and South Sydney. Oh, he likes it too. The trail. He's happy. He, we'll have some family and friends, I would imagine, from not far from from Tari, where he, he grew up. And uh, he, he's had a, another good hit out here on, on the way back from an injury layoff. So full time, Newcastle on top early. South pulled away. The Knights with an opportunity to come back into it late, but in the end, it's a 12 point victory. South Sydney 40, Newcastle 28 in Friday night footy.